Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. And this time we are having another episode of creating generative artwork that is influenced by another artist. And this will cover this indigenous Venezuelan artist that I am unfortunately not great at pronouncing his name. I'm sure Anawi Haki Hakihiwi, but we have have his name right here, um, and you can see his artwork. And I was very intrigued by his delicate form and his personal way of using patterns and shapes to preserve uh, form and memories. And I wanted to play with using traditional physical illustrations and putting into Touch Designer and making it generative and doing different variations. Especially like this image over here. Yeah. I really like the playfulness of using repetitions of having each of them to be slightly different. And what I did over here is made this network. I made a little bit of my own. Um, this is like my own little illustration I did that I imported into a touch designer and had each of them to be slightly different, differently variated and colors and have them rotating in different um, degrees to different degrees. And had a border around and this is pretty scalable to make it your own. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to use the replicator uh, comp and we'll cover it a little bit simple Python. So don't worry if you haven't coded so much in Touch Designer before, this will be a good little entry video for you. So when you're ready, we'll start with the clean network. Before really hopping into Touch Designer, I want to show you the illustration I did. I just did this in on in a watercolor paper, I did in watercolor, and put in, took a photo, put it into Photoshop and kind of clean it up up the levels and got rid of the background so it can be a clean PNG file without um, any of the background stuff. And hopping back into a clean touch sign network, I will just try and draw. Creative name, shape two. And actually, we'll put this in a container comp that I will name master zero. And why I put in this, uh, put it in a comp is that later on we'll use a replicator comp and we'll use this to, as a reference of what we want to replicate. We'll hop back inside and I want this, each of these repetitions to be a little bit different. So one way we can do it is use a displacement top. And we have a little error because we have nothing piped on the second input. We'll lower the displacement weight to be 0.1. And I'll add a noise. And once you pipe it in, you'll see it'll be a little bit funky. <laughs> so we'll lower the period to be something like 0.1. Let's do 0.2. Yeah, let's start with that. 0.2 harmonics, I'll lower it to zero. Harmonic spread, we'll have it to be six. Harmonic gain, have it to be 0.85. And exponent to two, lower. Amplitude, let's do, yeah, 0.3, it's okay. And these are just parameters I kind of played with before, but feel free to just drag it along and see see, see what happens. Play with it, be, be creative. And we'll have a little bit move a bit. We're going to transform, um, transform X. I'll just do the expression abs time dot frame. And we just have it as is. If, a little bit too crazy, so I'll just multiply it by 0 0.001. Slight movement. Let me paste this in. Let me see. 
Yeah, a little bit more movement. Cool, cool, cool. And I want each of these repetition uh, rep replicants to have a different seed, so they'll be slightly different in each one. And what we'll do is use the expression parent parentheses dot digits. And what that will do is reference the parent comp, which is this container, and right now has master zero, so it referenced the digit, so the seed is zero. So if I play with, I'll say like master 33, then the seed is 33. So if we have a bunch of different and they all have a different number, each one will be a different seed. Keep this into, oops, master zero for now. Then we'll do a little bit more stuff. We'll put, right now this resolution is something really random, 2,376 by 2,952. Um, you can win a while still in Photoshop. You can change the resolution over there, or we can just do it here with a fit top. We'll change the resolution to be something like 400 by 400. 400, not 4,000 by 400. 400 by 400. And I'll add a transform. I'll leave the transform untouched for now, but I will later on want it to be rotating. So you can do a little check to make sure it rotates and it's not gonna cut out of frame here. And I will also add a HSV adjust. And HSV adjust, I'll play with the offset once we have different replicates of, um, of it. And finally, we'll add a out. Wonderful. We have it. We did it. This is the file that we want to replicate. So let's add a replicator. And we're, we're going to drag this and have this to be the master operator, but see like, hey, what gives? Where, where is our replicator? Uh, what, where's our clones, pretty much? What we'll need is a table that so it needs to reference also a dat table and if I just reference this let's see what happens uh, make this as a template dat if I turn on the exact dimensions move this actually over here because it's gonna be over here one let me change to look <laughs> operator viewer to be out one. So I can do this and uh, replicate. So you'll see what's happened over here. Uh, because right now they have three rows, it's going to do two copies. I'm going to make this column zero. And if I make this to be something like 40, it'll take a little moment to think, but it will make 40 of these. For this, I'm actually, actually going to make 39. So I'm going to change the rows to be 41. So then now there's 40. And rather than having it to be in grid, I want it to be vertical. So it'll be easier for me to select all these. But right now they're all the same other than seed. So like if you go inside, you'll see that this is C2 because it's called item two. This is called, this is C3 because it's called item three. But I want to also tweak the color and the movement rotation of it. So let's do some of the code inside this replicator callback. I'm going to split this plane so we can see what we're going to do, what we're controlling. 
And you can feel free to make this viewer active and just code inside here. Or if you have a text editor, you can edit container uh, content and then do it in text editor. So I'll have this in this function um, defined on replicate, replicate. So whenever it replicates, it will do this action. So I'll have it in this for loop for C in new ops. I'll do an if statement. So I'll have it if the container, which is C dot digits percentage two, which pretty much will means like if this container, which is master zero, if it's divid, um, even, so it can be divided uh, if it has percentage of two equals to zero. And I'll just do a comment, which uh, we'll first do a colon. So if this is action is true, this is an action that will happen. Now let's comment out if the container is even. So I know what's doing. I'll have an action which will be the container operator. It'll control control the transform top, which is this one, transform one. And what I will have it control is the rotation. So per, uh, dot par, so the parameters of this rotate. And I'll make it have a expression, which will be, I'll do a parenthesis. So it'll fill in over here, abs time. Let's first do, oh, actually, abs time dot second. It's going to be rotation. It's going to be a not just counting up, but counting um, in a larger number scale. So I'm going to just first save that and see what happens. Replicator, I'm going to recreate all of the operation operators and might take a little minute to think. There, let's see what is this error all about. But our EXP R for expression. So let's recreate all operators again. Bam, bam, bam. Thinky, thinky, thinky. And it did something. Cool. So now, right now, every of the even numbers, so item two, item four, it is rotating. Four. So let's add on to that. I'm actually going to have this start in 90 degrees. So apps time dot seconds is starting on its side. And I also want to change the HSV adjust, the hue offset. So I'll do beginning the same container op control the HSV adjust one and so with the parameter U offset, you click on the parameters, it'll tell you what is the, the Python name. So Q offset. And I'll just have it to be negative 20. Awesome. And let's save this. And let's see what happened if I'll let it wait and recreate all operators again. You see all the even numbers have a little bit of a different color. Let's do a little bit more, a little bit more Python. So right now it's every even numbers will have this action happen. But what if it's an odd number? So else, so if everything else that's not even, which would be else, it'll have Different. So I'm going to just copy and paste this, save you some time. 
So in this transfer one, rather than having it start from negative 90, it'll just be absent about second, so it'll just rotate. So the even numbers will have a 90 degrees start. And this HSV adjust, I'll just have it to be 20 rather than negative 20. Save this. And real operators all will have a moment for it to think. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so right now, every of the odd numbers will have um, be starting rotating first and then, no, rotating and the even ones have a 90 degrees ahead of time. Great. So I'm going to close this here, make this bigger, and we're going to have all of these in a layout. So you guessed it, we're going to use a handy dandy layout top. Let's we'll select all of these and type this into this layout top. Great. Put a null after this, call this out. Have this in the background so we can see what we're doing. So, what gives? It's just one row. It's kind of blurry. Let's, what do we need to do? <laughs> Let's first change this resolution of this layout top. I'll make this to a custom resolution and I'll have it 1920 by 1080. And it's more clear now, but still in a square aspect ratio. So, output put aspect, I'll have it to the resolution. Great, getting somewhere. And this layout for a line, I'll have it to be in grid row. Great. And since we have 40 of these, let I'm going to play with the max row to actually be five. And I want the background to be a different color. So background color, I'll have it to be this like. Make sure this last one, which is alpha to be one, so it won't be clear. I'm gonna lower this color a little bit bit. Great, great. I want this to have a border. So actually this layout, this resolution, I'm gonna have it minus 100. So I have like a 100 pixel border. And 80 also minus 100. And then I'll add a constant. Have this be 1920 by 1080. And have this over this. So why can't I see this background? This over top is in fill. Let's, we'll change it to native resolution and you'll see this border. And I want this to be a little bit of a off white color. Right. And let's add a little bit more additional variations to it. So you can keep this as is, but I kind of want to have like a little bit of a grain material on it so I can do a noise. I'll change this resolution to be 1920 by 1080. And the type to be random. I'll add a level. Okay, it's where to go. Add a level top. Ooh, there it is. Level top. And in the post tab, the opacity I'll lower to be point. Uh, let's play with 0.15. And add an add top. Add the Point one two, and see this little kind of grain effect on this image. 
you can do more you can add another display so if you really want to each displace weight to be 0.1 2.1 and um, note that I have this after the layout top and not after the over because I don't want to displace the border and you can add like another noise add this noise to be resolution 1920 by 1080 and for this one I'll tweak some of the parameters. Ooh, so weird. Um, I'll lower this period file by a lot, lower the amplitude, just kind of making this up. This gives a little bit more of a hand texture-ish feel and you can really play around with it. In the previous one I had a line between them so in the layout I actually add a border that is the same color of the background so you can do like border R to be 0 0.05 and have like a little order action, which are fine. And then just paste this value. It's kind of cool. And keep it this is um, as it is, but you can also play around with this Python code over here. So what if rather than having it every even, but having it at all the ones that is um, divisible by three. So be like three, six, nine. That once I replicate it, replicate this, this is gonna re replicate it, and all this will be not piped anymore. And I'm gonna have to repipe it, but it's okay. So it's connected. Let's reconnect this. And now it's every other one which is kind of cool, something to play with. And yeah, that is it. I hope you could follow along this to this tutorial and you found this helpful and maybe you can um, use this for something of your own. And I would love to see your work. Feel free to share it, put on your story, tag me. Um, I'll have my Instagram in the caption below and I'll be looking forward to making another for video for you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're serious about taking your touch designer and interactive skills to the next level, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. It's the only educational resource and community of its kind for touch designer and interactive professionals. You can learn more by checking out the link in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon for more awesome free content.